Welcome back to another video guys. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get the spinning logo animation. And honestly, this is a really sick way for you to be able to brand your content in your own way. So one thing that you're gonna need is a PNG logo of your own logo or someone else's logo. It has to be a PNG. And if it's not a PNG, then this won't really work and it won't look too great. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started on today's tutorial. Okay, so I've lucky been just playing around with this footage from LT, Instagram down in the description. And honestly, I've just been having fun with it. Like I did the fish eye tutorial, flash hit tutorial. If you guys want to go ahead and watch how I did each step of this tutorial, just go ahead, scroll through my videos, and you're going to see the tutorials that I did. But anyways, first things first, you guys want to actually import your logo. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to import the takeover logo. Shout out the takeover, which by the way, if you don't know, I saw editing assets and presets for content editors, just like you down in the description. So we have our logo and what you want to do is just drag it into the timeline. Now your logo might not look as cool as mine and that's perfectly okay. <laughs> I'm just trolling. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Yo, real quick before we continue with the tutorial, I want to let you guys know that the Ultimate Solo Creator Bundle is out now. And hands down, this is the best product that I've made. I've spent the last year and a half creating this preset pack. So that way I don't have to keep doing repetitive tasks. And through this kit, I was actually able to optimize my workflow. So now I don't spend hours and hours each and every single day editing content. Like now editing is just a simple drag and drop process. And like, I genuinely mean that. I use these presets each and every single day and they're actually pretty gas. So if you want to be able to edit like me and plenty of other dope creators online go ahead and check it out down below in the description and let's get right back to the video you guys want to go ahead and scale the logo to your liking um for me i like it about this size maybe a little bit smaller yeah yeah, yeah. that's fire and the heavy lifting of the effect is actually going to take place in 3d if you type in 3d you're going to get basic 3d and you're going to be able to see this setting swivel and as you can see, it's going to swivel your logo. You could also do it that way. You could also do a uh, zoom in, zoom out sort of thing. Really wouldn't do that, to be honest. And so the first step to get a spinning logo is, of course, animating the keyframe value. And we want to just go ahead, start the keyframe off like this. It just makes it look better when you start it off already like rotating. And then you want to go ahead, just drag it. Actually, we want it to go this way. I want it to spin this way. Let's go ahead and just maybe do like four or five spins and just end it on like a keyframe like that. And then let's go ahead and see if we are liking like the, the rate of the spin. Okay, yeah, it's fire. Okay, that's a little bit too fast for me. So let's go ahead and just make it a little bit slower. And the way you can make it slower, I like to do like, because I kind of want it to go at half speed, create a keyframe in the middle, delete the last keyframe, just push this off to the end and then we'll see the frame. Oh yeah. That's a lot better. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And to add a little bit of extra sauce to this effect, go ahead and do like a little slide in animation for tutorial sake. I'm just going to use my preset pack and then uh, show you guys what it looks like. Like that's so hard. And that is literally it guys. That's super, super simple, really easy. Anyone could go ahead and do this. And if you guys want this to be a drag and drop effect, go ahead and comment my preset pack down below. Please like comment and subscribe. Remember take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.